Two weeks ago, we had covered this new framework called AIOS, where you can deploy LM agents in your operating system, and they're basically able to carry out various tasks autonomously, such as creating software and so much more. Now today, I bring forward a new framework called OS World, which is a benchmarking multimodal agent for open-ended tasks in real computer environments. You may be wondering right now, like, why might this be helpful or why would you even cover this? Well, OS World is actually a crucial tool that is going to help us improve the multimodal agent and the performance of it in real world computer tasks. For example, it would take the agents deployed by AI OS and it would basically help them with the task setup. It would also help them with the ex execution based evaluation and it would also implement an interactive learning ability to improve the actions of the agents that are being deployed by AI OS. So in simple terms, you're basically using OS world to improve the quality of the agents that are deployed. Now we've seen this video at the start of the video, but this is a demo which is showcasing many instances of agents evaluating open-ended tasks in real computer environments, whether that is mundane tasks or whether it's a task that is quite complex. It does a great job in observing how they execute these tasks and it showcases how it's able to learn from the results to improve their performance for future generations or for future tasks. This is the capability of OS World. You might think it's just a basic benchmarking tool, but it's more than that. It's something that provides way more capabilities than the average benchmarking tool in this particular category and it's something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into it sorry for being repetitive but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to ai tools completely for free these are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at OS World. This is a new framework that is designed as a scalable and a real computer environment for multimodal agents. It's basically this new environment that is going to be supporting various functionalities such as task setup, you have execution based evaluation and interactive learning across different operating systems like Ubuntu, you have Windows, Mac OS, and in this case, OS world is going to be serving as this unified platform and it's going to help for evaluating open-ended computer tasks as well as involving the arbitrary applications and it's going to address these limitations of prior benchmarks and what it's going to do is that it's not just going to be this benchmark where it's going to be providing evaluations but it's going to be helping with this interactive learning ability where it will be in be employed with other frameworks such as AI OS to improve the generation or the completion of tasks with agents that are deployed from something like AI OS. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Now, this framework is comprising of 369 real computer tasks, and they have been created within OS World. You can see that this is one task that was given. This instruction was given to update the bookkeeping sheet with my recent transaction, and it is providing the folder or that expense sheet. It is then providing a receipt and using utilizing the agents within OS world it is then benchmarking how it's going to be able to retrieve the information from this receipt and then put it back into that folder and we can see that there's 369 real computer tasks such as this and they have been created within OS world so it's going to ensure that there's going to be reliable as well as reproducible evaluations so this task is showcasing that there is a need to involve a diverse and involve widely used web and desktop apps as well as tasks that would be useful in evaluating other generations that many people have been doing previously. So 
you can basically have this as a desktop app within your operating system. It can focus on file inputs. You can even focus on outputs. It is able to use multi application workflows and its extensive evaluation is utilizing different large language models. And this is based off the agents within OS world to reveal if there is any sort of deficiency in serving as an effective computer assistant. So it will indicate if there's improvements that are needed to improve the agents deployed in certain areas. And it will even provide various like improve interactive training improvements, which will be then sent to the agents itself to improve for future generations, which is really cool to see. Let's take a look at the OS world environment infrastructure. It's something that operates using configuration files and it is handled for various tasks as well as interactions. So what they've done is that there's different components within the environment and they're highlighted in specific color for clarity. Now this configuration file is managing tasks in initialization, which is highlighted in red. You have agent interactions and post-processing after agent completion, which is in orange. You have retrieval of files and that is basically highlighted in yellow. And lastly, you have the execution of the evaluation function, which is highlighted in green. And these are basically the components which are color coded and they're matched to the respective functions within the environment of OS world. So you can see that it's gonna allow the environments to run simultaneously on a single host. And this is basically where the agents are deployed and they're coordinating between the virtual machine platform. And it will then provide the evaluation purposes and it will support as a headless operation where it's gonna be providing the benefits, or sorry, not the benefits, but the improvements towards the AI agents that are deployed. Now, as stated before, they had 369 tasks which is evaluating the statistics and the comparison of OS world. They basically have these base tasks to showcase what they're basing their overall interactions with their real world computer tasks and they're created within OS world. So it's going to ensure reliable and reproducible evaluations for future generations to see how agents are deployed on operating systems. So they deployed most of them on Ubuntu, but they also deployed 43 on Windows. And these are split up into different categories. You have multi-app workflows, single app, integrated, and feasible. And if you scroll down a bit, a little bit more, they showcase the evaluation of other benchmarks in testing how they, in testing basically a, like how agents are deployed in computer environments. And this is for multimodal agents. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this evaluation over here. And this is where they presented this example of a task evaluation within OS world. And this is where the tasks are instructed and they're checked using specific evaluation scripts. For instance, you can see that if a task involves deleting Amazon cookies, in this case, it is going to be where this script is going to verify their removal. It's going to be focusing on the evaluations, which relies on tailored functions. And this is something that will interpret software files as well as setups that are necessary for the structure. So they have a wide array of different functions, and this is for retrieving data from virtual machines, as well as cloud services. And it's going to aid in the accurate assessment afterwards. So for tasks with real time aspects, they have dynamic functions with like crawlers, you have scripts for it. You also have it so that they're employed to ensure precise comparison. And this is one of the great capabilities of OS world. Now guys, this is a great benchmark, but with many additional benefits that are going to help you deploy as well as help you improve the efficiency and the improvements of different AI agents that are operating in your system. This is a great tool that I definitely recommend that you take a look at. It's a great evaluation metric or I would say a great evaluation like benchmark, which is going to help improve the efficiency as well as the effectiveness of the AI agents that are deployed. Not only are they going to give you improvements, but it's going to help teach your AI agents that are deployed on your operating system to perform better activities. And this is based off the 369 real computing tasks that have been collected within their framework. And they're going to be helping you describe different operating tasks that will improve the agent's performance. So I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you take a look at the Patreon page. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with whatever subscriptions that are being out there. We're gonna be giving it out completely for free. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at this. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. 
great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.